There are about 10,000 species of birds around the world. Some birds, like the wandering albatross, have wingspans measuring 8 to 12 feet, can weigh more than 25 pounds, and fly hundreds of miles in a single day, and thousands of miles in migration over a period of several days without ever stopping. That's quite amazing for a bird heavier than most turkeys. Equally impressive to big birds are the little birds we call hummingbirds. There are an estimated 350 species of hummingbirds in the world, which range in size from 2 to 9 inches in length and 0.07 ounces to 0.85 ounces in weight. Giant hummingbirds have a wingspan the length of a pencil and weigh less than one. That's right, even the biggest hummingbirds weigh less than a standard postcard. The bee hummingbird has a brain, a heart, a beak, a tongue, two eyes, two wings, two legs, eight toes, and roughly 1,000 feathers, as well as many other body parts. It is packed full of wonderfully designed lightweight structures, all in a body that weighs less than a penny. The bee hummingbird is the smallest bird in the world at only two inches long from beak to tail and 0.07 ounces or less in weight. Since they hover in the air while feeding on the nectar of flowers and are only one half inch longer than certain bees, at first glance, they're sometimes mistaken for bees. The bee hummingbird may be tiny, but it can put away the groceries in the form of nectar and tiny insects. Every day, these birds eat about half of their body weight in food and drink several times their body weight in water. That's comparable to an 80-pound child eating 40 pounds of food and drinking about 75 gallons of water every day. Why does this little bird need so much food and water? Because it requires a lot of energy. And why does it need so much energy? Because bee hummingbirds flap their wings in flight tens of thousands of times per day. If the superhero Flash were an animal, surely he would be a hummingbird. It seems that everything about these birds is super fast. Whereas most birds beat their wings less than five times per second, hummingbirds use their powerful, resilient pectoral and supracoracoidus muscles to flap their wings at lightning speed, 50 times per second for North American hummingbirds and 80 times per second for bee hummingbirds. Hummingbirds can fly horizontally at 30 miles per hour, which, considering their size, is pretty amazing, and can dive vertically in the air at speeds up to 60 miles per hour. What's more, they can stop on a dime in the air with only their strong acrobatic wings. Not counting insects, the metabolism of hummingbirds is faster than any animal on Earth. Even their tongues are fast. Like bees, hummingbirds drink the nectar from flowers. These lightweight birds can drain a flower of its sweet nectar with 15 licks in one second. And as you might have guessed, their hearts beat fast too, really fast. At rest, it may beat 500 times per minute, and when active, its heart can beat 1,200 times per minute or 20 times per second. Flash, the superhero, is make-believe, but hero hummingbirds are very real and incredibly fast clearly and exceptionally well-designed. You might think that an animal with such a high metabolism would be incapable of migrating great distances, yet hummingbirds are known to travel thousands of miles from Canada all the way to Costa Rica. Though there are many places to stop and refuel along the way, one stretch includes crossing the Gulf of Mexico. Somehow, some way, hummingbirds, and specifically ruby-throated hummingbirds, can fly approximately 500 miles in about 20 hours, averaging about 25 miles per hour without stopping all the way across the Gulf of Mexico. The flight of hummingbirds is unlike any other bird. These amazingly fast-flying, zigzagging animals have the ability to move their wings so fast and in such a specially designed figure eight motion that they are the only birds in the world that can fly sideways and backward, as well as up and down, all the while keeping their torsos virtually stationary. They're the hovering helicopters of the bird world. In fact, they're much better designed than helicopters, as hummingbirds can even fly upside down. Some contend that naturalistic evolution must have brought about the hummingbird. 
Supposedly, hummingbirds evolved from less advanced birds that moved their wings differently, which supposedly evolved from animals millions of years earlier that didn't even have wings. But this could no more happen than a tornado could sweep through a junkyard and build a perfectly functional helicopter. If you were to make a robotic bird that could flap its wings 80 times per second, that could hover like a helicopter one minute and fly across 500 miles of open ocean the next, no one would ever conclude that your specially engineered robotic bird was the result of some accidental naturalistic cause. Why then would anyone think that millions of years of time, mutations, and random chance processes could produce such fantastic flying abilities as those found in hummingbirds? To quote the patriarch Job, Ask the birds of the air, and they will tell you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this, in whose hand is the life of every living thing?